Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put on this front laced wig and giving you guys a little review. So let's do this. In today's video, I am doing an everyday wigs review and I'm gonna be showing you the lace wig that I got and I'm gonna be showing you how to put on a front lace wig. This is the wig that I got. It's from Everyday Wigs, really nice packaging, super cute. So let's take a look-see inside. I got a 24 inch ombre wig. So this is what it looks like. It's in netting, it comes in netting, and they also gave me a wig cap, which is great, we'll be using that. I'm not gonna be gluing my wig on today just because I'm just doing a review. I'm not gonna be wearing this and it's a bit more of a process to glue on a wig <laughs> and i don't really want to deal with that today i've already i just slicked back my hair into a low pony which i'm just going to shove into a cap um for the sake of this video so you can see and actually when you have it in a low pony it's actually easy for the cap to hold onto it and it'll keep it nice and low which is great let me take off this netting and from first glance it looks like a really pretty wig she fine, ladies. As you can see, here is the front lace that I need to cut right now. And let's take a look on the inside. The front lace goes all the way here. You can see the part, which I also haven't plucked, but it actually looks like a pretty wide part if you, you can kind of like see through it. So it could work nicely if you want a middle part, but you might have to do some plucking if you want a different part. I think possibly we'll see on the inside we do have clips to attach to your head and secure and tightening little fasteners here for the back of the wig which generally I just like to have already adjusted to however tight I want the wig but right now I'm just gonna cut this lace off so that we can try this baby on and do it so you can see and to cut the lace you literally just cut along the line of the wig along the hairline as close as you can oh my god I'm so hot I'm like in my third trimester right now guys and I am just boiling no matter what I'm doing all right here's my lace that I have cut off I don't know if I did a terrific job just kind of rushing through this, but as you can see I cut it to the edge of the wig. Let's try this baby on. I'm gonna put on my handy dandy wig, wig, wig cap. It's a pretty thick wig cap, which is nice. Let's see if this actually even fits on my head. Stretch it out a little bit. <laughs> do, do, do. Big head problems. All right, let's try this. We got it this far. Let's Pull it back some. I mean, it is nice. This is a pretty tight. Oh, haha. <laughs> That's the problem. I was trying to put on two wig caps. My bad. This makes it so much easier. <laughs> Prego brain got me doing all kinds of weird things. So then I'm just going to shove my ponytail, if you can see, into the back. There we go. All gone. Now I'm nice and bald. Bald looking. You can put it behind your ears. All right, are you guys ready to see this baby on? And this one is pre-styled, it is a synthetic wig, but honestly the hair does look pretty nice. It's not too shiny or anything like some synthetic wigs are. But just brush it out a little bit to get a softer wave. It's not too tangly, the hair quality feels pretty nice if you ask me. And I haven't seen myself with this hair color in a while, so let's see what I look like. It is fun to switch things up, and that's what wigs are for. I like to just kind of flip the wig back a little bit. I'm gonna make sure my fasteners are secure. Flip the wig upside down, and we are just gonna dunk our head in there and just get in there, you know? Everyone has a different method. I like to just dunk, the dunk method. <laughs> Make sure you get the bottom behind your pony. 
Oh yeah, look at me. And then because you have those little fasteners, try to get it as far on your hairline as you can. And on this side as well. So as to cover up your natural hair. Now let's see where this part is on me. I'm a blonde now. So this is what the wig looks like on. I haven't changed the part or anything. It's really long, it's really pretty. It's not too heavy. It actually has a really firm hold on my head, which I like, because sometimes it's really loose. So now let me just find a part that I like. Just a little bit. Let's send it this one a little bit this way. That's not too bad. Anyways, you just have to play around with it. Like I said, I am not put installing this wig on. This is just for a review. I have it on. It's nice and safe. Nicely secured. Look at that. Hair. Hair to my booty. What do you think, baby? But yeah, overall, I am very pleased. This is actually kind of like my natural hair color. So it's really funny to see myself back in this color. But honestly, I really do like this wig, guys. It looks really nice, it's easy to put on. You can glue it down, obviously, if you're gonna wear it. I feel like because it's a front lace wig, you can, you know, style it and make little cute hairstyles, which is great. You can do braids and low ponytails. I'm not sure if it'll look good with a high ponytail, just because it doesn't have the lace in the back. But yeah, overall, I am really happy, guys. And again, this is the 24-inch ombre. I have a link to it down in the description box if you guys like this particular wig. And then also, I have a code for you guys to get 20% off your purchase from everydaywigs.com. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a new wig, I do recommend these synthetic wigs. Synthetic wigs are cheaper, which is great. And these are actually really good quality. So I can't hate it all. <laughs> but yeah, so... Make sure you guys check them out. And this is my wig video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. And I will be back next time with more videos and probably more Prego updates because baby's coming really soon. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Life